Hello New Stoics, this is Tim, and today we are going into the concept of God and gods in Stoicism in uh, traditional and modern Stoics uh, conceptions. So, the ancient Greeks had a few different understandings of the idea of God, God but they all kind of sat on uh, a true understanding of, of God, and that was that God was a materialist being uh, that existed within this universe and everything about that was definitely was a physical entity it wasn't a transcendent kind of God like in Christianity or Judaism or anything like that it was materialist it it was definitely a part of the universe or created the universe and the the things that get a little blurry is based upon what the Stoics actually believed that entity was, or uh, our relationship to that entity. Some viewed God or gods as uh, the Greek or Roman uh, gods, and uh, judging by the behavior of many Stoics, such as uh, Epictetus and uh, Cato the Younger, uh, it seems that they did follow after the Greek and Roman gods, and God, uh, or the Logos, or Providence, uh, they viewed as Jupiter or Zeus. Um, uh, other Stoics kind of viewed it a bit different, uh, that um, God was just the essence or um, life force of the universe. Uh, and this, uh, this view of God and gods was uh, commonly associated with um, an, a way of thinking called uh, pantheism or pandeism, depending upon how active you felt this force was. Um, and the, the last view was um, a little bit more vague. It was uh, the idea that God um, was... Uh, like a deistic force that it was it created everything but it doesn't really do anything and we don't really have any active connection with so uh, judging by these views of God it seems that um, they rule from ha involving a personal relationship all the way to almost total uh, just non-involvement so with this in mind when we look at modern stoicism uh because of the influence of the major religions which are christianity judaism islam and uh buddhism and I, some would even say taoism uh that many people don't even uh associate themselves as stoics they would associate themselves better as being a christian or a buddhist or something and stoicism is more or less a lifestyle choice uh, that that kind of complements their their belief structure and it kind of makes sense why um, modern stoics um, would associate with another title rather than stoicism of itself is because of the long history that uh, Christianity and Judaism and, and other religions have had on making stoicism uh, be viewed as a almost unemotional uh, thought system so that the point uh, that stoics don't even refer to themselves as stoics um, they would rather refer to themselves as another uh, belief system is mainly because it, it's one, it's a negative idea to refer to yourself as a Stoic because it basically means you're a emotionless robot. And another is this idea that if you are going to call yourself a Stoic, and this is from the mindset of Epictetus, if you are going to call yourself a Stoic, you um, better be one of the best Stoics of all time. And in his mind, that such a thing didn't really exist. So that, that's mainly 
why I feel like um, any kind of stoic tradition of of God isn't really followed nowadays it's because the the major religions first of all are much more popular and second of all they have a lot clear definition of who their God is and why they believe it and what that conception of that God is because the Stoics were a little bit unclear about what providence is what the logos is what what nature is and uh, our relationship to that entity so um and, and it also explains why many modern stoics aren't even uh theists and you know quite a few are identified as atheists mainly because that conception of god many modern stoics view is being obsolete or um doesn't explain the current state or um you know you could almost just dismiss it as uh pantheism or um soft theism or maybe a, a lot of modern stoics believe that uh, it was very unpopular to declare yourself an atheist in those days and so maybe they came up with a real elaborate systems of thought to really hide that now th these are just my thoughts I, I there are stoics nowadays that um try and identify with the original uh theological beliefs of the ancient stoics and um they they try their best to interpret the works of epictetus and seneca and uh, marcus aurelius and try and live by that god but it's it's really difficult to say what what that um actual religious aspect of stoicism actually is um and and unfortunately that that kind of uh theological aspect to stoicism is, is somewhat dead uh, but i do plan on exploring it a little bit more in detail so that we can um have a better understanding of it and maybe understand why um the major religions especially christianity has um just dissolved it you know stoicism didn't die but uh stoic theology definitely did and it's to the point where most people don't even know what what the stoics believed in terms of beliefs in god and um metaphysics and other things they they only know about the practical sides of stoicism or they know about um the colloquial uh usage of the word stoicism and not actual uh practice of the stoics but anyways uh, i i hope this is a relatively um brief description actually helps everybody understand what the stoics believe what modern stoics tend to believe um and if anybody has any questions or comments please leave it down there uh we are like i said before we're at around 180 subscribers so please tell your friends to like and subscribe and we will only grow from there thank you my friends